must listen very carefully to your enemies because sometimes they tell you the truth that you do not want to hear but need to hear sometimes you are surrounded by a coterie of people who pretend to be your friends but they are not they are friends of the office that you hold and the things and the doors that you can open for them that requires discernment that requires detachment that requires focus that requires selflessness that requires intellectual firepower and spiritual contentment easier said than done you know power it is said corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely but i remember the great tanzanian president mwalimu julius kambarage nyerere used to say that when you are called upon to serve remember that you are not necessarily the best but you've been given the honor and privilege of serving that is why we call you honorable that is why sometimes we even call you excellency not because you are excellent yourself but we expect you to do excellent things if you surround yourself with the wrong people who will continue to worship you very soon you get used to being worshiped then you become a demigod and you become hostile to truth and you become attracted to flattery the strength of character is very important and power does not change people power reveals who you truly are or truly are have interacted with individuals even across this continent men and women who mean well and they serve well i was telling a friend of mine who is a senior politician in kenya that one of the greatest hallmarks of a servant leader is that when he or she receives a letter from a citizen he or she acknowledges the letter and i've dealt with many african heads of state and to their credit quite a number of them they will cause the letter to be acknowledged in kenya which is my country you write to leaders they never respond never because there there is arrogance which is tragic so what must one do when one gets into public office humility must never abandon you i've had the opportunity myself of serving in public spaces in this country on three different occasions and in my view have never changed i've always realized that power is temporal and that you only do your bit and leave as william shakespeare once said all the world is but a stage we have our comings and goings if you remember that you'll remember to always have humility as your shadow most african politicians i'm very reluctant to use the word leaders when i make reference to most african politicians they occupy positions of leadership but they are not leaders most of them first of all the intention with which they enter into leadership is the problem they seek office because they love power and privilege and opportunity that it provides to them they want to become wealthy and the easiest and shortest avenue to wealth in africa today is public office with the minimum effort you become a multi millionaire they go there in order to be worshiped and they go there not to do the right thing and once they have been in office they do so many wrong things that it becomes dangerous for them to leave office so their continued occupation of office is also to ensure that they enjoy immunity that comes with office but when you are a good leader who does the right thing you do not fear to leave office because 
Nothing has changed. And I've seen leaders of that ilk in, in, in this part of the continent. And there are quite a number of sprinkling of leaders who have left office and are doing great things. Joachim Chisano in Mozambique. Ifike Punye Pohamba in Botswana. People like uh, uh, my good friend uh, Jakaya Mrisho Kikwete, Ali Hassan Mwinyi in Tanzania, Benjamin William Kappa, Joachim Chisano, as I've said, of Mozambique. These are people who have left office and nothing is happening to them because they are men and women of integrity. John, John, John Mahama of Ghana. There are quite a number of them now across the continent who do not fear being out of office and they are doing great things once they leave office. But there are others who will never leave office because the day they leave office holding all factors constant, they ought to be arrested.